Now, as soon as the flaccidity starts getting replaced by the onset of sparsity, one can expect to see these basic limb synergies to appear in stroke patients. Now, the important components of the upper limb flexor synergy in hemiplegic patients are shoulder retraction, elevation along with shoulder external rotation and abduction, elbow flexion and forearm supination along with wrist and finger flexion. Another important thing to be noted is that upper limb flexor synergy movement is typically initiated by either the elbow flexion movement or the shoulder elevation movement. That means the patient initiates the flexor synergy by recruiting the elbow flexors and shoulder elevators. Rest of the muscles of the synergy follow the activation of these muscles. So every time the effort to initiate the elbow flexion will be accompanied with activation of the rest of the muscles of that synergy.